Well, the appetite to give them a lot more has changed, particularly in the US. Uh, the polling shows that uh, people who were previously supportive of, of the packages and the resources given to Ukraine are now saying enough. What? Tell me about the politics of that. How can uh, the US continue to pour billions into this battle when people, uh, the population is no longer as supportive of these measures? Well, it's, it's very difficult. And, and I think, um, you know, so far the US has been actually quite cautious in the support they've given. They've waited until almost the last possible moment um, to provide the key equipment that Russia, that uh, Ukraine needs. And they've all, obviously President Biden's mindful of of the uh, you know the, those people who don't want to support uh, Ukraine or don't feel that the U.S. it's the U.S.'s job to be doing so. I think while the current administration continues in uh, in Washington, we will see continued levels of support in Europe. It's also problematic. We're seeing a drop in the number of people. I think in in polling shows that the number of people supporting. Um, continued uh, backing of Ukraine is dropping because people are getting, frankly, bored with the whole thing and they're also suffering economic damage. So, yeah, you're absolutely right. It is a real long-term problem. Um, and and I, I, I do think, I mean, I, I believe we should continue to support Ukraine. We should increase that. But it does, it will take a lot of political resolve by leaders on both sides of the Atlantic to do so. How much of what we're seeing at the moment, not just the Russian aggression, the Chinese aggression, what's happening in the Middle East, but throughout the world, how much of that is connected to the Biden administration's yes. weakness? <laughs> the fact that they're All not exactly <laughs> exuding strength and direction. Well, I, I, I consider the, the, the catastrophic Biden withdrawal from Afghanistan in 2021 to be the the proximate cause of Putin's invasion. I think Putin yep. mm -hmm. yep. saw America and then made a decision that he was happy to invade and, and did so. Um, and, and, and what you mentioned Chinese aggression as well. Mm. I think this is an, a key point it, it, and it's an important reason for us to continue backing Ukraine because if Russia defeats not just Ukraine, but if they defeat Ukraine, they'll defeat NATO. And if they do so, then that will encourage them to greater aggression, for example, over Taiwan. They've seen, the, uh, yeah, we're patting ourselves on the back about the strength of our support for Ukraine, but it hasn't really been strong enough. And, and I think President Xi will be watching this carefully. Not only will he want Russia to prevail, and he is, he's been supporting Russia right from the very beginning, and there are rumors going around now in, based on intelligence that he's planning to supply Russia with munitions himself. Uh, so I think, you know, I think that it's a, a key issue that the, the, the effect on China of a defeat by uh, by Russia.